Check on my boys. What's going on? They're laughing they're crying. Mm -hmm. Mommy's right. here. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> He's trying to teach him to walk. I'm not in a rush for him to walk, okay? That means we're in trouble very soon. The minute he starts walking and tries to open the doors. going through some sort of regression. I feel like there's just something wrong with him. Right here. For God's sakes, just pick him up. He's just a baby. Mommy got she got some raisins. Yep. Got any grapes? Do 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 do. Scooper got any grapes? <laughs> okay, so for the past couple of days he has been doing cat naps, like literally just half an hour. And it's like, what is going on? And I tried to put him down like two or three times. Brian says a million times, back and forth. And he's just not sleeping. This morning he woke up at 5 o'clock a.m. We tried to go sleep in the room yesterday just to see if we could move back in there. But he saw us and he woke up early and so we got to get back out. He's kicking us out. But I think he is definitely going through something because usually he sleeps very well. It mm. could be that or it could be the fact that um, we woke him up. Or Brian woke him up the other day sooner than he's supposed to. Or because I have been napping with him in my bed instead of his crib with him. So he thinks that that's the routine now. I don't know. It could be all sorts of things. Are you okay, honey? Yeah, but definitely more fussier within the past two days. Less naps. He should be doing about an hour and a half per nap. He's doing just half an hour, 40 minutes cat naps. And I'm like so close to taking him in the car. Because every time he sits in the car, he naps. And then drive to Orange County, pick up some stuff, and we drive on back just so he can sleep. I might even do that later today. What do you think, Brian? Should we do that? Okay. You know? Because he's. I put him down and he just. Doesn't want to go down like he. Yeah, you. You know. Oh, baby. Okay, come. I love you. My sweet pie. Okay, let's put him down so he doesn't fall off this chair, this or couch. Please don't cry. Please don't cry. Okay, good boy. Good boy. Yowie. Yeah. Look at that. Walking, standing. <coughs> Get your raisins. He's just been doing so good with his self-feeding. Picking up these little tiny bits of food and figuring out a way to put it in his mouth. See, like he'll, he'll grab his fingers and hold it down and stuff like that. Depending on where it's positioned. And he'll just have a go at it. Hmm. your food here, honey. 
My goodness. There you go. There you go. Yoy. <laughs> See, he just holds his hand like, twist it around, <laughs> shove it in. <laughs> Lunch time for Brian, and look, he does not heat up his food, so the chicken and porridge is super cold, and he's like, oh, it's kind of like ice cream, ice cream chicken. Mm -hmm. New flavor. Oh my gosh. Jeez. It's good for summertime when it's hot. <laughs> And for lunch, we're having nam beef and chicken. Bon appetit! This baby don't want to nap all day. He nap now. Now he don't want to wake up. Usually he's a very light sleeper, but look at him. We're talking loud. We're poking at him. Get him to get up. He just his face and he just doesn't want to do. Ow. <laughs> Seriously. Like, this is the loudest we've ever been. We usually live with like, shh, shh, shh. Now he's like, leave me alone. No, he can turn his thoughts into him. Okay. Yeah, let him rest. <laughs> no, we can't let him rest. Then he won't rest tonight. We have to wake him up. I'll we'll move him to my room? Yeah. Or let's try this. He hates his bed, so move him to his bed, see what he does. Transfer to his bed. You can sleep more now, honey. Okay? But in your bed, not mommy's bed. Okay? Uh, nap time. Oh my god, he's so mean. He ain't get conditioned to this, huh? Hey, I don't sleep in this prisoner cell. <laughs> sleep next to mommy. Oh my god. Okay. There. <laughs> Is this boy serious? I cannot believe him. He went back to sleep. He has to sleep in the bed. <laughs> Gotta wake up, honey. Wake up. It's like 6.30. No, no, no. We have cauliflower risotto medley here and chicken in the oven. Looking good. Looking very, very good. And Brian's gonna put baby down because that's our new thing now. I don't want to put baby down while he's on my boob because um, he'll get used to it and it's not good for him. One of them is Brian, precious of them all. Five woolly lambs snuff sleepily, huddled close and snug. It's time for sleep or sleep well, my dears, said Auntie Sheep, and gave each one a hug. The lambs all yawned and closed their eyes and fast asleep they fell. How long till little Ryan falls asleep as well? And just like that baby is down, he cried for a good what? Less than a minute, Brian? A couple seconds. Yay. So proud of him. Mm. Delicious chicken thighs. There she is. Delish, delish, looking good. Me and Brian Sharon and Vin right here. All right, now we're moving on to broccoli snacks because Vin is trying to eat healthy and I'm trying my best to do chicken for him mm -hmm. and healthy eats. Thank you. Bon appetit. And I'm looking at recipes for tomorrow. Chicken, 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 chicken. Because he can't do beef. Can't do anything. Mm. These are so delicious. Like seriously. They're in the frozen aisle. I got a Target. Has some cheese in it. But I looked up and it's pretty easy to make. Just broccoli and cheese. <laughs> Put it in the oven for a couple minutes. A good 15 and you're good to go. Bomb. Bomb.